All right, so if you got the uh, Jumper T Pro with the internal Express LRS module, I have a new video here on how to update the uh, internal module in case you uh, accidentally bricked it using the Wi-Fi method. And I've heard a few people have had that have, have had that problem. I think it's mainly due to certain laptops that don't have updated drivers on their for their Wi-Fi devices um, that are having that issue. But the speculation on my part, I'm not 100% sure why that is. I know that on uh, certain uh, uh, Windows laptops, uh, Wi-Fi updates are somewhat problematic. Anyway, if you happen to have that problem, there's a lot of uh, videos out there already with various solutions, you know, using FTDI adapters, etc. There's documentation already on the Express LRS website on how to fix the problem, but you have to open up the radio and hold down the bootloader button on the module at a certain point when you want to flash it. I'm not sure why they haven't updated the um, the page yet on the Express LOS website because uh, this is, I don't know, uh, this, should, this should have been already been relayed to the, to the developers by Jumper. They've already passed this on to me uh, about a week and a half ago. I just haven't had time to get around to making this video. But in any event, on the uh, on that page, about halfway down where it says help, I, I bricked my internal module, you're basically going to follow the same procedures. You're going to uh, get that firmware file, which is, uh, which is basically an updated version of HTX, like it's like a 2.70 beta version that enables the HTX pass-through function on the USB port, which is not enabled on the stock firmware. They may already be shipping uh, the later batches of this T-Pro with that firmware, so this might be unnecessary to do. Uh, basically, when you turn on the radio and you press in the two trim buttons and then you power on the radio, it goes into bootloader mode. And then the firmware that you put on the uh, SD card, you go into the firmware folder and then you can flash the radio uh, with the updated firmware for HTX and that will give you that... Um, Basically, it's HTX pass-through function. It's like USB serial mode. That's a third mode that's on uh, the USB port that isn't on the stock firmware. So basically, you're going to follow the same directions that are on the website. However, there's like a, like a command script or something you have to run. Don't do that. This From this point on, those instructions are going to deviate. What you're going to do instead is... Uh, on the latest configurator, version 1.3.6, is which, uh, which is what I'm using... Um, you select the master branch and later on um, they're going to incorporate this into the main uh, official branch so when 2.3 comes out this will probably be there instead of um, selecting the master branch it'll be an official release and um, but for now you have to select the master branch to see the edge HTX pass through options so you select master branch select uh, jumper 2.4 um, jumper T pro TX as the device and then when you do that, you will see HTX pass through as an option. You want to select that. And then before you, you know, obviously you want to put in your bind phrase or whatever settings you want, but before you build and flash, you're going to have to modify the radio. And this, it's a really simple modification. So basically uh, you have to open it up. I did a video on how to um, open this up, but I did a whole teardown video. I'll link that down in the video description. So I'm not going to cover that in this video. But once you uh, open up the radio, this is what it looks like inside here. There's these two cables that connect the halves, two halves of the radio. Don't disconnect those because you're going to need the batteries in the radio and the radio powered on for the flashing to work. So um, this all has to be connected. But it's pretty obvious that you can see here I've added this little green wire that goes next to the bootloader button here. So normally you have to press and hold this bootloader button down while it's doing the flashing procedure that's documented already in the uh, on the website but instead uh, i've soldered on a little wire here there's a little there's a little pad on here that you can solder a wire to that basically lets you short that bootloader button using the momentary switch over here the shoulder switch here and i have this wired to that switch on that solder pad right there so you're going to solder a wire there and it's going one wire and then it's going to go straight to there and that's the only modification you need to make. Basically, that allows you to use the 
uh, bootloader or allows you to use the momentary switch as the bootloader button. So when you go and do the build and flash, uh, there's going to be um, at a certain point when it's actually uh, downloading the code and doing the build, uh, there's like this line that'll come up here. I'll, I'll point it out on the screen. It's like build end of uh, something T Pro. When you see that, which it might come up pretty quick and flash by really fast, at that point, you're going to press and hold the momentary switch down, and you're going to keep it pressed down until it completes the complete uh, completes the entire flash process. So you'll go through and you'll see it uh, connect via um, pass through, and then you'll see the writing process with all the different percentages. And then you have to wait until you see it says success at the end. And at that point, you can let go of the button, and you have completed the flashing process. So there's really no way that the internal module can be completely bricked uh, because you can always get get by by uh, pressing the builder button and flashing it. And now you don't have to open up the radio every time to unbrick it in case you brick it again. However, once you've done this mod and you put that wire in place and you're using this method to flash the radio, you really don't need to do Wi-Fi flashing anymore. You just connect it via USB here. You'll get that uh, notice on the screen. Um, it will give you three options, select USB serial, and then it'll be in bootloader mode uh, or edge TX pass-through mode. So it'll uh, basically connect you to the internal module and then follow the procedure that I just talked about here. Press the momentary switch down for the bootloader button and you can reflash the radio later when newer versions of the uh, firmware are released. So that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. I'm not sure why it's not documented on the website yet. It, possibly will be soon after I release this video. Maybe they just are busy on other stuff and haven't had a chance, haven't had time to update it. But uh, once you put that one wire in place, uh, there's no need to open up the radio again. Uh, you can use the momentary switch as the bootloader button. All right, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully it was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.